Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Gaming Center Com video. Let us further discuss the PlayStation 4's memory configuration. As I'm sure you're doubtlessly aware by now, the PlayStation 4 does indeed feature 8GB of GDDR5 memory, which of course gives a total memory bandwidth of 176GB per second. But, as I'm sure you also may be aware, it wasn't always like that. Back before the system was actually announced, many believed that the system was only going to have 4GB of GDDR5 memory. And there were recent quotes from Ashan Rashid that back in early 2012, when the PS4 only did have 4GB of GDDR5 memory, a developer in the EU region claimed that Durango, which used to be the code name for the Xbox One, tosses the Orbis in every metric. By the way guys, I do actually have a article written with this and it's got all of the relevant screenshots and links and all the other bits and pieces that you would expect, including more of my thoughts and opinions and uh, some specs written down for you. But then, he also clarified on this and said that when the 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 was announced, certain developers were literally left speechless. I'd like to point out, and this is out of quote, I'd like to point out that this isn't the first time we've heard such statements. Several developers have actually gone on record and said, well, yeah, we actually didn't realize that Sony were doing this, and pretty much when we found out as customers, in other words, you know, just you and I walking into the store, we found out pretty much when they found out. It was only actually Sony's internal teams, for the most part, or the really large developers, and even they, for the most part, were kept in the dark. They actually realized that the system only did actually have 8 gigs. And the reason, as far as what we understand, is it was a last-minute decision. Um, Sony would basically said to themselves, well, 4 gigs, not going to do it. Let's um, basically cut out the PlayStation I and use that money, it would be around $40-ish, depending on the price fluctuation between 4 and 12, uh, sorry, between 4 and 8, and use that money instead of the I, let's instead spend it on the memory, which we feel is going to stand us in better stead over a long period of time. And I think it was definitely the right decision. The PS4 does have a better GPU, right? We know that. But it means very little if it doesn't have enough memory. And the PS4, sorry, PS3 and Xbox 360 were both very limited in memory, about 512 megabytes each. Each, both systems were divided differently, but developers were pretty brutally honest and said it just doesn't have enough memory. Now we do know that developers such as those who are creating, say, the middleware, um, known as Havoc, which of course is a physics engine, they've gone on record and they've said, you know, 8 gigs, it's good. Um, well, actually, technically 6, because obviously memory overheads and all for the operating system. But, you know, it, it's good, but it's still going to run out. And yes, that's true. But imagine just how much worse and more compounded this would have been if the PS4 had only had 4 gigs. It would have been pretty bad. Even if you said that the operating system had a been shrunk down significantly, let's say they'd managed to get it to 512 megs, it still would have meant that the PS4 would only had about 3.5 available for games, which would have meant that in theory the Xbox One could have had anything from like 1.5 to possibly a 2.5 gigabyte memory advantage, and yes, the Xbox One's memory is considerably more convoluted and slower, unless you use the ES RAM, but even so, I think many developers would probably have said to themselves, you yeah, know what, for our title, which is really texture heavy, we're just going to have to learn to get around the ESRAM and just try our best. And I think it would have meant that there would have been a hell of a lot more texture streaming and emphasis on those, uh, okay, well, we're walking on this little cut section, you know, you're doing the whole walking while talking on the radio, you know, which really started in Gears of War, which of course means the system's loading in the background, you know, the next generation, the next textures and audio and stuff. Anyway, um, that's just about it for this particular video. I'm not going to say much more because I'm nursing a bit of a sore throat and I've still got to do the Steam sale later. As I said, I've wrote down more thoughts and opinions on this. You can check them out in the article if you so wish. Meanwhile, I'm going to get going. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.